One thing you need to know about Jesus is that Jesus will never tell you to do something he himself does not do. Hallelujah. We learned this lesson from our spiritual father, David E. Taylor. Jesus will never tell you to forgive 70 times 7 if he himself will not do it for you. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you that we have a Savior that is praying for us. Jesus told Peter that Satan wants to sift you as wheat. But Peter, I have prayed for you so that when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. Hallelujah. Strengthen your brethren. The Lord knows you will fall, but he doesn't want you to fail. In 1 Corinthians 13, the Bible says that love never fails. But if there's prophecy, it's going to fail. If there's tongues, it's going to cease. Everything else will fail. But if you continue to love God, if you continue to love him with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, all your soul, I guarantee you, you're going to finish the race. You're going to finish the race because God is not after your perfection. He's after your willingness. God is not after your perfection. If we were perfect, we wouldn't need God. God came for those who were imperfect. He came for those who were sick. The great physician came for those who were in sin. The Lord told the Pharisees one, t one time, he said, if you, were if you were blind, it would be good for you then I can make you see. But since you say you see, then you remain blind. You see, Jesus came for the blind. Jesus came for the sick. Jesus came for those who needed a savior. And I tell you the truth, that's every one of us.